Hey guys, welcome back. You know when you're searching for something in Google and it tries to guess what you were going to write, you know, the autofill feature? I thought it'd be kind of interesting to see what Google thinks you want to learn about. So today we're going to look at Google Autofill's history. Now what I did is I put in who was and then went through the alphabet. Today we're going to do A through M. We'll take those figures, I'll give you a brief little blurb, saving you time, and we'll see who Google really thinks that you should know about. So let's start with A. Who was Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great was a Macedonian king whose empire stretched over Peggy, that's Persia, Egypt, Greece, and India. He's also the historical figure that you're most likely gonna have to write a critical essay about with the question, was he a hero or a villain? Who was Benjamin Franklin? Perhaps the most famous figure in colonial America, Benjamin Franklin was a Renaissance man. He was an author, a printer, a scientist, an inventor, a politician, a diplomat, but at no time was he ever President of the United States of America. He is one of two non-presidents that are currently on American currency, the other one being Alexander Hamilton. Who was Christopher Columbus? You know what, I'm not going to tell you about Christopher Columbus here, why don't you click on my 5 Facts About Columbus video? That is, unless you don't want to learn about which one of his ships is pretty much nicknamed the prostitute. Who was Dred Scott? Dred Scott was a slave in 19th century America and is the namesake of the Dred Scott decision of 1857. When Dred's owner died, he tried to buy his freedom, and when that didn't work, he tried to sue for his freedom, saying that previously he had been brought into a free state, making him a free man. The Supreme Court shut him down, saying that blacks had no claim to freedom or citizenship, and they essentially voided the Missouri Compromise because it said it violated the rights of white people to own black people. And we wouldn't want to violate anyone's rights, would we? Who was Euclid? Euclid was a Greek mathematician, and he's known as the father of geometry. His compiled works called The Elements addressed points and lines and relationships and geometric figures, and while it had relatively few new discoveries in it, its writing was so accessible to the masses that it's been used for 2,000 years. Quick geometry joke, what did the Italian guy say to the witch doctor that removed his curse? Hexagon! Just let that one sit there for a while. Moving on. Who was Frederick Douglass? Now, Douglass escaped slavery to become one of the greatest speakers of his time. He became a leader of the abolitionist movement through his speeches and his narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass and championed for equal rights for women and Native Americans. And, honestly, top five American haircuts all time. It's easy. Look at that. That is... That's something else. Who was Galileo? Galileo Galilei was an Italian astronomer and physicist most known for his heliocentric model of the solar system. Building on the works of the Greeks and Copernicus and Kepler, he found himself in the crosshairs of the Catholic Church and was forced to recant under threat of execution and say that the Earth was the stationary center of everything. But like a true internet troll, legend says that on the way out of his trial, he murmurs, It still moves. Who was Hammurabi? Hammurabi was a Babylonian king in 1700s BC, most known for his Code of Hammurabi. This code is the oldest large set of laws that historians have found. It dispenses eye for an eye justice, changes punishment based on social class, and makes you hope that if your dad was a carpenter, he was a really good one. Who was Isaac Newton? First off, Isaac Newton did not invent gravity. That would be like inventing mass or light. But he did formulate the laws of universal gravitation as well as laws of motion. This 17th century English scientist invented a form of calculus, built the first practical reflecting telescope, and developed a theory of color based on prisms which led to this awesome album cover. Who was Jim Crow? I'm including this one because most people don't know that Jim Crow wasn't an actual person. He was a character performed in blackface created by a man named Thomas D. Rice. Unsurprisingly, this character was not a flattering portrayal of African Americans and became the namesake of the Jim Crow laws, which said that separate but equal segregation is legal. For an actual J, why don't you check out my What Does John Locke Say video? It's pretty good. Who was Karl Marx? Karl Marx was a 19th century German philosopher whose book, The Communist Manifesto, written with fellow socialist Friedrich Engels, categorized all of history as a struggle between classes. He believed that capitalism was just a stop on the way to communism, and I'm just gonna say it, the guy looked like Santa Claus. Tell me he didn't. Who was Lord Baltimore? Really, who Otto felt? Leonardo da Vinci, Lee Ferrickson, Louis XIV, they all take a back seat to who was Lord Baltimore. Fine, okay, okay. 
Lord Baltimore was the founder of what would become the Maryland Colony. He was a Catholic, which was not ideal in Protestant England, and he got the ball rolling for a Catholic refuge in the New World. Protestants started showing up anyway, which led to the Maryland Toleration Act, which mandated religious tolerance for all, provided that they were Christian. And finally, who was Martin Luther? Okay, listen to me. Martin Luther, German monk, 95 theses, Protestant Reformation. He is not Martin Luther King Jr., American minister, I have a dream, civil rights activist. The confusion of those two is the bane of a history teacher's existence. There you go, that's what Google Autofill thinks that you should know about, A through M, we'll come back and we'll do N through Z. In the meantime, why don't you check out one of the other videos? Uh, what are we gonna plug? What are we gonna plug? George Washington sings about his presidents while parroting Lord's Royals. We'll still push the Boston Tea Party, uh, the Boston Tea Party slash Google Plus mashup. Let's push one of the old ones. Five American wars that were and three that weren't. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me at Mr. Betts Class on Twitter. Be safe, and I'll see you next time.